What's up, guys? It's your boy Sean Lenners, and I'm back. Uh, this is like, this is immediately, like, literally just happened. I say immediately, it literally just happened. Um, so I follow up my guy, uh, College Hoops Alert. Uh, you guys should check him out. If you're a big Instagram user and you love college basketball, please go follow College Hoops Alert for, like, breaking news and score updates on big games, upsets, all of that. Uh, undefeated maps, winless maps, they have it all there. But, guys, um, James Akinjo and Josh LeBlanc have immediately entered the transfer portal, and uh, those are two guards from Georgetown. A lot of you guys know James Akinjo from uh, Baldest Life. You think he was in the Baldest Life All-American game and some more. But James Akinjo and Josh LeBlanc just, like, immediately transferred from Georgetown. They entered the transfer portal, and uh, the, the Georgetown released a statement just saying that they would no longer be – uh, on the men's basketball team effective immediately. Um, it's kind of weird with this situation because I didn't see nothing about any suspensions or anything. Or, you know, most of the time when uh, guys enter the transfer portal and it seems like the way this went down, something happened or they will be suspended indefinitely. Sometimes, most of the times, when you once you're suspended indefinitely, it seems as if, you know, that, you know, something happened outside of um, the team's. Um, rules and a lot of times it's not you know it sometimes it can be academically but a lot of times it's outside things where you know you might have did something wrong which a lot of athletes you know sometimes slip up but uh James Akinjo who played a big role uh, if you watch Duke versus Georgetown James Akinjo is an absolute stud uh he's not one of the tall guards LeBlanc is a, a great stud as well but the thing is like these teams are like you know, especially for Georgetown, they're not that deep at the guard position, in my opinion. You know, Mac McClung is going to have to step up now. You're probably going to see him run the one a lot. And then they're solid on the inside, though. But this is a huge loss for Georgetown as a team. Uh, you know, they lose depth in the Big East. And, you know, now it's, you know, Georgetown went from a team looking like he would make the tournament to now, like, I mean, probably not even making the NIT, being honest with you, man. It's just, it's sad. I really want to know what happened. When I get more details, I will make another video updating you on this situation because this is kind of crazy. Like I said, all this just happened uh, via College Hoops Alert. Uh, you guys should go follow them on Instagram, definitely. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. I appreciate the subs lately, and I appreciate the recent support as well as usual. I always thank you guys because I wouldn't be here without you guys today. We're about to hit 10K views on the channel, so I thank you guys especially for that. And let's keep subbing it up, and let's keep getting better.